Hi, Sonny here. Today I'm just here for a chill video where I'm just going to be uh, making a tier list of Rui's casual outfits. So none of the bloomed cards, no bloomed outfits. It's just his like casual clothes because Rui here, he has, he has a very like particular type of uh, fashion sense. And uh, I, can't, I can't always say that it's a good fashion sense. Here are the tiers here. There's certified grandpa. This is for for the most grandpa of grandpa outfits he's worn. The ones who just have that grandpa aesthetic to them. Then we have he rocks it though, which is for outfits that he looks good in. Like it may be a bit questionable, it may be a little grandpa-y, but he rocks it. It looks good on him. Then there's it's an outfit, which is self-explanatory. It's in it's an inoffensive outfit that I have no real opinion on. <laughs> Um, and then crime, which again is self-explanatory. We're starting with this green, very, very green t-shirt. Like Rui tends to, he tends to go for the more fluoro colors along with the weird pattern. Just, there's just too much going on with this shirt and it clashes with everything. Yeah, uh, it's going to go into... I don't think it's crime. I don't think it's crime levels of clashing. I'm going to put it in. It's an outfit. It's it's a bit much, but it's also, it's not too much. You know what I mean? Next, this one, looking devious. I actually quite like this outfit. It, it's subdued. The colors are more subdued, which is a plus. And it, it looks cute. The pattern's cute. It's got a bit of a pop of purple to match his hair. It's also not too high on the grandpa scale i would say next we have this um explorer type outfit makes me think of the rugrats uh it's it's giving but it's not giving in the right way it's it's giving grandpa giving grandpa taking his kids on a hike even the expression the hat the, the bro this one's this one's pretty up there on the grandpa scale just the colors, the colors of his shirt. Ooh. Yeah, this has gone right up into certified grandpa. <laughs> Next. Okay, some people probably might not count this one as a casual outfit, but I'm going to count it anyway because it's it's got that grandpa vibe to it. It's got that grandpa color palette, right? And it looks old timely. He looks really cute. Don't get me wrong, but like... It's still, it's still got that vibe. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna go in. He rocks it though, because he looks really cute. A refined gentleman. Now this one is another one that is pretty out there, I'd say. He's wearing this very muted uh, t-shirt. Oh, no. Very muted, like, dress shirt over the top. The pattern, I, it, I mean, it does look good on him. It does suit him, because it's not too bright, so it doesn't, like, clash with his hair. But, <laughs> just... This outfit combined with him in a go-kart and like Emu and Nene are beside him. It, it's giving grandpa taking his grandkids to the fair. And yeah, it's going, it's going right up into certified grandpa. This outfit also has a cat variant, which also reinforces the grandpa taking grandkids to the fair thing. But with the cat variant, it's pretty cute and is going into he rocks it though because I do actually like the outfit. This one, um, I'm not actually sure if it's unique to this card. This is his color fest card. I'm gonna count it as a unique casual outfit and it's it's pretty pretty reserved. It's like a little fluoro, but not too fluoro. All right, it's an outfit. I'm gonna put it in. It's an outfit. I have no strong opinions on it. Next, we have this very cute. This very cute Rui about to blow up everyone with a firework. He's just a little maniac. I don't think he should be left unattended with that. The, the activity aside, what is he wearing? <laughs> what is this outfit? It is like really gross. He's got like yellow, like these old banana striped pants, sandals, and then this khaki just beige. This might be the first one in crime, to be honest. I really don't like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put it down in crime. The pants, it's really just the pants that are landing at that spot. Next, 
We have this very long jacket, cardigan, whatever he's wearing. This one is quiet grandpa coated, I would say. Muted colors, turtleneck, the turtleneck too pretty grandpa but he was he is kind of rocking it i do kind of like it quite a bit it's kind of a vibe and the the patterns i just i really like how the patterns all go together on this one it's gonna go in he rocks it though next oh this one's up there he's literally fishing like he's literally i mean no i mean he's not fishing but he's watching his grandkids fishing okay that is like a peak grandpa activity the summer shirt the hat He's like almost got a core cat on, which would be also peak Australia. The only thing not giving grandpa would be like the cropped jeans, but nah, it's not escaping its fate in <laughs> certified grandpa. <laughs> this is from the Lawson collab. It might not count as a casual outfit, but everyone did get a different designed outfit. Lawson is a convenience store, by the way. It looks nice. But it's also kind of like, that's not Rui. I don't know, I don't imagine Rui wearing overalls. And now he's wearing them. It looks strange. But yeah, I don't really have much to say about this one. It's alright, it's an outfit. The first Zozo Town collab. Now this is a collab with an actual fashion brand. So you'd hope it's good, right? And I mean, I think he looks fine. He looks very grandpa. Very antique. Very like, very like orange tones like autumn very autumn kind of vibe going on it all goes together the outfit does all come together quite nice i i think i'm gonna put this one up in certified grandpa you may be like he's like giving stylish grandpa who would run an like an antique store it also is kind of giving him stuff but nah i think i think this one belongs in certified grandpa next we have his new casual like generic casual outfit Default casual outfit, I should say. Um, yeah, I did, uh, <laughs> not really a fan of this one. <laughs> he looks 12. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this one's like the opposite of grandpa. This one is giving like tween child who just came out of osmosis. No one who isn't Australian is going to get that reference. But if you know what osmosis is, that's what this looks like. Uh, yeah, he looks like he's about to go to the beach, like surfing. It's very surfy beach vibes, which is strange for Rui because he is not any of those things. He's a mad scientist type. <laughs> am, I, am I really? Am I, am I gonna put this one in crying? It's not that bad, but it, like, mm, I mean, when you combine it with this illustration, when his face is like this, like, come on, he's about to tell me every Bionicle's name. He's about to lecture me about Roblox. Like, I don't know. I think I am going to put it in crime. <laughs> this is Rui's first casual outfit. His first default casual outfit. Like, it is quite bright and vibrant, but because it's all split up, I think it works. It also fits his personality. Blue under the shirt matches his hair, ties it together. I think it's a great outfit for him. I don't particularly like the colors, but that's a me thing. That's just me not liking fluoro green, you know what I mean? As an outfit, I think it works. So this one's going in, he rocks it though. Okay, we're getting to the end here. Next we have this one. I don't remember what card this is from, but um, I'm not feeling this one. It's just a gross color. You may be able to tell that I, I don't really like browns on Rui. They're just so dull. Like he he suits brighter colors because he's a colorful guy. Kind of want to put it in crime just because of how boring and plain it is. <laughs> Screw it. Yeah, it's going in crime. <laughs> Next, we have his second Zozo Town collab outfit. Again, Zozo Town is a fashion brand. This one is a completely different direction from the first one. The first one was like vintage tea vibes. This one is more hip streetwear. Streetwear isn't my favorite aesthetic, but it does look nice. I think it, it looks quite nice on him. It's it's an outfit. Mm, I mean, he does rock it, but I don't... Mm, I'm going to put it in. He rocks it, though, because there's a space right here for it. Now, lucky last, we have this outfit from an illustration for the third anniversary party. Definitely, it's not boring. Uh... On the contrary, it has a little too much going on, I'd say. Don't like the colors. And I don't like the pants at all. I don't get why he's wearing orange stockings. 
The shoes. The shoes are too much. <laughs> it's like it starts, it starts kind of fine. And then the further you get down, what is happening? Why, what? <laughs> like it does fit his personality. I know why they gave him this outfit. But it's also a fashion crime. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, while editing, I uh, found two outfits that I missed that could probably count as casual outfits. One is just little child baby Rui with his adorable platypus shirt on. And um, the other is his like tracksuit that he wears during rehearsals that has this like shorts over like skins look that I really don't like. So <laughs> this this outfit doesn't get many points. <laughs> so I'm just going to put these in baby boy baby tier and evil tier. There is the completed tier list. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the placements. Tell me where you'd put them. Feel free to disagree. Like, if you want to defend second casual outfit Rui in the comments, please go ahead. Ignore how it's called ugly Rui PNG.